So in this video, what we're going to do is talk about a drill that you can practice that is going to add both speed and consistency to your game because there's no point having really one without the other one. There's no point having this ability to have loads of speed if you can't control where it's going. And equally, you don't want to have loads of control if it doesn't go very far. So the first thing that we'll do is just clarify where uh, we're going to focus a lot of the speed comes from is uh, being more vertically present in the golf swing. Okay, and what that basically means is up. So the more I can get my arms up in the through swing position, then theoretically the faster it can go as opposed to if I keep them very low. However, the other thing that we just have to agree on before getting stuck in is how important your rotational movement is to giving you the ability to swing up. Because obviously for my arm to go up, I have to rotate so my left shoulder can go back and behind me. And as my left shoulder goes back and behind me, my arms can then be propelled very much up. So rotational movement is really, really important when it comes to both controlling the uh, golf swing, but also when it comes very much to uh, adding speed and distance. So the drill that we're going to discuss is a, a simple sort of um, grid system. So you're going to need two alignment sticks. You're going to place one down, um, if you like, opposite the ball to keep things relatively simple and straightforward. Uh, that will be relative to your ball position. And then what you're going to do is place another one perpendicular to it. And the idea is that when you do this, you're going to end up with uh, sort of four boxes. Okay, so you're going to end up with a box in the top left corner, a box in the top right corner, a box in the bottom left corner, and a box in the bottom right corner, like so. So as I get set up to the golf ball, I'm going to look something like this. Now, when we take the club back, what's really important, and this is the big thing that, uh, you know, people that do online lessons with myself or that have been to visit for lessons will very much be nodding their head at this, is the importance of this first movement. Because what should happen in the first move is you should basically be moving your hands and arms to the side of your body, keeping your head still. And it should feel like you're very much picking the club up um, in this early part of the swing and most amateurs tend to move this way. So you want to feel like your head stays very, very still in this early movement, and you want to feel like your hands are moving into this top right box, okay? That's the first thing. Now, as you then, uh, let me just show you that from this perspective as well. So you can see my hands work this way. I'm not operating anywhere near that bottom right quadrant, as I mentioned, right? Then from there, as we swing up towards the top, you're just going to rotate. You're going to get the feeling of turning your hips so you can see the way my pelvis moves into this bottom right box um, I wouldn't massively be trying to force too much of a movement this way and the reason for that is because if you move too much this way you lose the ability as you can see here to elevate your arms up in towards the air so that's a really important thing is to let my arms go up because we talked about the importance of this vertical presence and that's only going to be possible if we allow the pelvis to move into this bottom right quadrant like so okay now um, as we start to initiate this downswing position, this is where the quadrant comes into its own. So what we need to do is as we initiate the downswing, we need to make sure that we move everything uh, progressively in terms of from the body's perspective down into the bottom left quadrant. Okay, so you can see this thing gives my shoulder, my left shoulder, the ability to move downward. This allows my hands to start to come downward and this equally shifts vertical ground force very quickly. So me meaning I get my weight back into that left side. What happens with most amateurs as you start the downswing position is you move more towards the top left quadrant. Okay, and then that means that the weight ends up hanging on this uh, bottom right leg as I'm demonstrating here, or feel like I'm in this bottom right quadrant, the club gets stuck and then you have to pull up on your arms like so. So up, and then as we start the downswing very quickly, you wanna be moving down and towards that bottom left box. Now, as you then start to come down, what we need to do, let me show you for again from this side on perspective, right, put the ball there just for reference. So I'm saying bottom left quadrant, but what we now need to do is we need to make sure the club doesn't come down too steep as I'm demonstrating here. The way you resolve that problem is by keeping this right forearm pointing more up towards the sky. See what I'm doing here? So now you can see the way that my, the uh, butt of the club is actually pointing into that top left quadrant, right? As I come in towards this latter downswing. So it's case of body into the bottom left, as my hand and the club feels like it's moving into that top left. So my body into the bottom left, club into the top left, and then basically, like I said to you before, the last little piece of the puzzle is that hit. And what we want to do when it comes to hitting that golf ball is we want to make sure that we've gone boom, bottom left. Now I have to feel like I'm coming back. So there's a feeling, and that's what I'm going to play on on this last little part of this video, is the feeling is you want your left shoulder and your left hip to feel 
like they're moving into the bottom, uh, sorry, to the, the bottom right box. So we've gone up, bottom left, and then the body is gonna feel like it comes back as you extend your arms through as I'm demonstrating this way. And again, the reason for that is because my rotation this way allows the retraction and then you can obviously finish that swing through. So let me just run through that very, very quickly. So just to jog your memory for the next time that you get the chance to practice it, it is straight back up to the top. As I start the downswing, bottom left box, handle needs to be pointing into the top left. And then from here, as I rotate through, can you see where my left shoulder feels like it moves back into that bottom right box along with my left hip as my arms then continue to go through, make a massive difference. I'll see you soon.